I'm going to show how to create and start a battery test of a 12 volt sealed lead acid battery using PowerView software. Assuming drivers and software were installed successfully, locate the PowerView software labeled PV8500 and click to launch it. On the top left, left click once the button labeled config. A window will pop up giving you options to configure serial communication parameters as well as other instrument parameters. Be sure to verify the baud rate and address settings to match those configured within the DC load. If USB adapter is used, Windows will automatically assign a COM number for the USB virtual COM port. This can be verified inside Device Manager under Control Panel settings of your operating system. Once verified, click OK to close the config window. If settings are configured correctly, the software will immediately detect the instrument and connect. The RX and TX light indicators at the bottom indicate communication between the load and the computer. Now click on the battery button at the top to enter the software battery test function. The battery discharge window will open and the main screen illustrates a graph with labels for voltage, capacity, and current. On the right column, a discharge current list is available for users to create custom discharge profiles for dynamic testing. Let's enter a few steps in the list for testing. Keep in mind the left column specifies delay and right column specifies current. Users can enter the amount of time they want to hold a particular current value. We will first double click the first row under delay and enter 3000. Next, double click the cell on the right to enter the current value and we will input 0.5 amps. Going on to the next step below, we will enter 5000. For current, we will enter 0.25 amps. Lastly, enter 4000 for delay and 0.3 amps for current. If more values are needed, simply right-click somewhere on the list box and select Append Line. To delete an entry, select the entry to delete, right-click, and select Delete Line. Now at the bottom of the list, there is a time unit parameter that's selectable. Users can select the unit of time for the delays in the list in milliseconds, seconds, or minutes. We will do a repeated test by having the software run through the three list values repeatedly, so check off the repeat box. There are two more things we need to specify before we can run the test. The software gives user the option to select how the test will be run. Users can run the test based on safety voltage or threshold voltage similar to the internal battery test demonstrated earlier. Next option is to specify a specific amount of time to run the test. Users can enter hours, minutes, and seconds. Lastly, users can run the test based on a certain capacity. Once capacity is reached, test will end. For this setup, we will specify to run the test with a safety voltage. Let's enter 10 volts. If data will be recorded, check the box that says setting sampling time and enter a data sampling time. By default, we will leave it at 1000 millisecond. Users can also change the name of the recorded data. We will leave it as default sample 1. Now we are ready to run the test. Click the start button to begin testing. The load will start testing the battery using values set in the discharge current list. You can see the test going through each steps by the highlighted box shown here. The graphical display will plot the voltage and current throughout the test. Voltage is in red and current in blue. Notice that capacity as well as depletion time will be monitored constantly until the test ends. For demonstration purposes, I will manually stop the test by clicking End. Users who are interested in saving data for later analysis can simply click View Report. Another window will pop up to show recorded data records. Be sure the name is selected as Sample 1. Click the Display button and the table of data will be populated. To export to Excel format, select Excel at the bottom. 
You can also export as a text file by selecting TXT. We will export to a text file. Click Export. Create a name for your file and click Save. For convenience, we will call it battery underscore test underscore one. Then we will save it to the desktop. Now locate the file on your desktop and you will see your data all logged.